So we're going to talk some more about the Leontief input-output model now. And in particular, what we want to talk about is its simple economy so that, that we can analyze. So a simplified economy depends on two products. We have energy and we have food. So to produce one unit of energy requires one-fourth E plus one-half F. So to get one unit of energy, I need one-fourth of a unit of energy and one-half of a unit of food. To produce one unit of food requires one-third unit of E and one-fourth unit of food. So I've got to use some food to create more food. And this gives us an input-output matrix that looks like this. So here's my input-output matrix. Notice the energy-energy gives me one-fourth. Food-to-energy gives me one-half. One-third energy to food and one-fourth food to food. So I now have my input-output model. The matrix A of an input-output pair that will create this, I can so we're looking for the interdependency model so that we can solve how many, produces, how many units of energy and how many units of food we need. So we'll use x to be x1, x2. And we can get the following, where this is a and this is x. And we can get a matrix that looks like this. So this is my matrix that we created here times my unknown gives me the following formula. This is our gross production formula. So, if we allow this to be, to be what we, our economy model, then we can look at D as the consumer demand, and the consumer demand is given by the following. So I'm just, I've already got this done, Rather than working through it, I'm just going to show it to you. The demand of the customers is equal to x minus how much the we need for more production. So we have ix minus ax. So d is equal to the invert the identity matrix minus our a matrix times x. If we multiply this by one minus a inverse to d, then we get the following, and that gives us x. So if we know what our model is, then we can work further from there. So, let's suppose that based on this conversation, that the consumer demand for energy, D1, is 1,000 units, and for food, D2, is 3,000 units. So we need 1,000 units of energy for our consumers and 3,000 units for, uh, for our, of food for our consumers. We need the level of production x that so will meet this. And so we start with i minus a, which is the identity matrix. And we're going to subtract from that the model we had before, which is the one-fourth, one-half, one-third, one-fourth, our interdependency. And so this is going to be equal to three-fourths minus one-half, minus one-third, and three-fourths. Now we need to invert this matrix, and we're going to use the formula to do that. We're going to get so when we invert the i minus the i minus a, it's going to be one over the first times the the first one one times two two minus the two one and the one two, and we're going to times that by swap places and change signs. Well, 3 fourths times 3 fourths is 9 sixteenths, and we're going to subtract from that 1 half times 1 third, which is 1 sixth. So 9 sixteenths minus 1 six. Both of these go into, let's see, 16 is 8 and 2, and this is 3 and 2. So they both go into 48. So this is missing a 3, and this is missing an 8. So 3 times 9 is 27 over 48 
minus 8 over 48, which is 1 over 9 over 48, which is 48 ninths. So that means that my inverse is 48 ninths times 3 fourths, 1 half, 1 third, 3 fourths. So since x is equal to, based on our earlier conversation, i minus a inverse times d, all I have to do is multiply this by my 1,000, 3,000, and it'll tell me what my production is. So, we start by doing 3 fourths times 1,000 plus 1 half times 3,000. We still got our 48 over 9 floating out here. Then we do 1 third times 1,000 plus 3 fourths times 3,000. This gives us 250 times 3 is 750 plus 1,500. Let me make sure that's right. 3 times 4 divided by 1,000. 3 times 4 divided times... No, I got that all wrong. 3 divided by 4... 3 divided by 4 times 1,000 is 750, plus 3,000 divided by 2 is 2250. And this one's going to be a little bit trickier. I'm just going to get the calculator out. 1,000 divided by 3 plus 3 divided by 4 times 3,000 is 2583, plus times that by 3. Three, so 77, 50 over 3, and that's still being times by the 48 over 9. So now we multiply the 48 over 9 in. So 2250 times 48, that's 19, not 9, gives me x equals 108,000 over 19, and the other one is 7750 times 48 is 37,200, that's divisible by 3, so it's 124,000 over 19. So this is how much energy I have to produce, and this is how much food I have to produce, so that I can meet a consumer demand of 1,000 units of energy and 3,000 units of food. The part that you need to remember is, if I give you D, can you take 1 minus A, take the inverse of it, and multiply it by D to get your result.